Oh. Let's do it. Hello, fuckers. Do you hear us all? We're here, and our dicks are absolutely stiffer than you've ever seen in your fucking lives. Yeah. Definitely. Especially <laughs> mine. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Mine is a lot. No, Elder, stop. <laughs> Hell no. Stop with that bullshit. Mine's... <laughs> Hell no. No. Um, <clears throat> hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to the motherfucking Zoom uh, fucking show. Sorry, I, I don't know why it looks weird. I don't know why the fuck they, we can see everything. But whatever, I don't care. My dick is on double, double stiffigus dot the diffigus. Tell me why. Um... <clears throat> Uh, Stav, tell us the story of the three men who came to your show after having a threesome. Nah, those guys rocked. Those guys fucking were the, the light of my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, anyway, we have, uh, we've got the boys back with a hard-ass dick, the, the Halkis brothers and Eldis with a little prick of dill. <laughs> Art stream is back. Um, George has a fresh cut. He's looking good. Looking good. Thanks. Looking real good. Mm-hmm. My dick is on triple, quadruple, octuple, <clears throat> tuple. I don't think it is, Riverface. I don't think it is. When was the last time you solved your problems? We're going to... Okay, so I've talked about this before, but we're going to have a fucking... A farewell app the weekend of the 23rd or... Tw I don't know if it's going to be the 23rd or the 24th. I've got some s things schedule-wise that I might have to move around, but... There will be uh, there will be one f uh, final for now. I want to bring the show back at some point, but you know, I gotta start sucking and fucking while the streets are still open uh, before I'm <laughs> back to relegated to Twitch. So anyway, it's gonna be the, for right now. It's October twenty third. We it might push to the twenty fourth, but you'll know. Anyway, I will never get a haircut, Blackhawk one ten, until the bald pony's flowing. <laughs> <laughs> Until the ball pony's flowing. Anyway. That, that pic of you in the shower from the weekend, you just looked greasier than ever. Like your hair did your hair did look long. It was like skullet mode That's for real. Right. Well, you know, I don't appreciate your for the way you're fucking <laughs> talking about my beautiful hair with your bitch ass. <laughs> um nice. DMT killer just cream pied his pocket pussy. <laughs> That's awesome to hear. That's awesome. Congratulations, to hear. brother. Congratulations. Everyone, you even everyone give him a nice big round of applause to DMT Killer. Stop <laughs> pigtails when. Some, someday, brother. Um, Stop with your skin routine. I was just lucky, man. The Lord didn't bless me with much, much natural, naturally, but he did bless me with this gorgeous skin. <clears throat> okay, anyway, we got we got our boy fucking, we're doing Jasper Johns, who I don't know who the fuck this is, but I've heard the name, I think. You'll know. Shut up, Eldis. You'll know. Who the fuck are you? You're not the teacher here. <laughs> You'll know, man, I promise you, I swear to God. Can you shout out my little brother, Connor Clancy, call him gay. Connor Clancy, you're gay. Congratulations, Connor. Congratulations. Congrats, Connor. Making <laughs> dreams come true. We stand Connor. We stand Connor's gay little ass. <laughs> Getting tight left and right. Um anyway. Um uh, thank you for logging the fuck on. We all have hard ass pricks. We uh we're doing our boy Jasper Johns, who I'm not too familiar with, but um Excited to learn. We got the NBA Finals uh, game four coming up at nine, so this will be over by nine o'clock sharp. And uh, um, hold on, let me give you permission. What am I supposed to do? Setting share screen. Got to share that little screen. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um, hello, cool cousins club. Stop, make a cameo where you charge people to call their friends gay. I might, dude, but I might do it outside of cameo because they take a cut. I'm going to need so I'm gonna need people to just... I'm going to have an email set up where people can just do it directly to me and they can fucking Venmo me. Because cameo can suck my <laughs> dick. I'm not giving them a fucking dime. Put, what's the cash app? Yeah, dude. 
Get the cash app up. I gotta get the cash app going or the PayPal. Um, I've never see. I've never been to this stream before, but I remember that one time a while ago you played with Broat. So I've seen your. Oh, hello, Riverface. Yes. Well, this is not me playing video games with our good pal Bro team. This is culture for your bitch ass. You're gonna learn about more. <laughs> Hey, stop. First time sub or long time listener, please call Brody gay. Okay, Brody is gay. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. I'm like, stop. Please call Smoothie gay. Fuck hey. you, this. <laughs> what the fuck? You fucking bitch. Um, but let's listen. Enough about all that. Let's get fucking going and let's start learning. About Jasper motherfucking Johns. Okay. He's looking cute. Here's young Jasper in 1959. He, he is 90. Cute. He's 90 years old right now and hasn't croaked yet. Oh. Damn. So this is a bullseye bullseye glory hole type of situation? <laughs> yep, he was if all you hit a bullseye, you get to get your dick sucked? <laughs> With what looks like men's mouths. <laughs> hey, hey, I can't. you can't tell for sure. <laughs> a mouth, a mouth, Dave. <laughs> a mouth, a mouth, Dave. <laughs> that was cool. Uh huh. Um, um, this looks like a cool. I wish my. I, but then what? You have to put. A, you have to get on a ladder to get your dick sucked by the mouths. I. I. If guess. it was me, if I was the artist, I would put the bullseye. I would flip flip their positions, where I would put the mouth at the bottom. <laughs> I would put the mouth at the bottom. Basically, exactly a dick sucking height, and I would pump up the bullseye a little bit. It looks a little low to me, so that's my first critique of his artwork. Maybe, maybe, maybe the ahead, painting Elvis. is Sorry. really drilled into the ceiling. It's meant to be climbed, and mm, then you okay. can sort of, you know, kind of uh, what's it called? Like Put suction that. cumps on and sort of <laughs> grip the ceiling and get your dick sucked. <laughs> Yeah, Very like Catwoman or something. Yes. <laughs> Getting your dick sucked like Tom Cruise. A reverse Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible situation. Or it could I be love my the... wife. I love my wife. <laughs> I'm not gay. She gives me top. Well, I guess but... you could kiss them. Someone in the stream said they're for smooching. That's a good point. That's I guess true. I immediately thought getting your dick sucked, but... <laughs> To me, a glory hole is a. I would much rather get my dick sucked by a stranger than kiss a stranger, but that's just me. Here's the flaw with this one. Okay. Ideally, ideally, you, you're like you know sticking your dick inside the hole. Mm. You're not really seeing what's going on behind. See, I don't it. really have a problem as this is the <laughs> most anon. This is the least anonymous a glory hole situation could be for me. <laughs> it's. I'm not gonna lie. They're tiptoe. They're on the line. I, and I would prefer not to see nose if I really if I'm being honest with you, but I can do nose. I can't do eyes, especially if everyone is clean shaven. We can't. There's no distinctive marks, yeah. or or they're women who never have to shave. We don't. I don't know that they're not that they're men necessarily. But right, as long as I maintain plausible deniability that it could be a woman and I'm not gay, I like I like that <laughs> level of anonymity. But I'm with you, Eldis. It's probably it's not strictly glory hole. Right. I think this is a perfect time to say that he won the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2011. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Can I, I just can say the, the other thing I, real quick before we move on? Oh, I mean, these guys, are they very skinny? Doesn't that – you know what I mean? Are they is – are is one of them uh, crouching, you know? Like is one guy crouching and sitting on the other guy's – like, you know, is perched – what? How yeah. are they even? Because this doesn't Maybe. look like they could be contorting. I guess they could be, you know, to the side their mouths. They could be really flexible. So that's another problem for me. It doesn't seem like the guys suck or the people sucking your dick would have enough room to be comfortable. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Well, it is art. So they could be crisscrossed. Like the first and second guy could be in the front. Then the two, two and mm. four could be like behind them. But leaving mm. forward, so their face is sticking through. <laughs> Still, I mean, although I guess if you're into, I, so, mean, <laughs> I guess if you're into BDSM, the fact that they're not comfortable could be a, a turn on to you. Maybe they're all like hand tied with like brooms. Yes, up there. on is their knees, <laughs> sure. On their knees, hog tied. They've got their faces. <laughs> yeah, there's sure. a stool at the bottom. 
It's you hop cool. onto the stool. Mm. You you <laughs> take your you take your cock out of whichever mouth you want, <laughs> stick it into another mouth. Oh, Those nice. four mouths are for you. That's awesome. The two people in the center have their little cock tips <laughs> hanging right outside of the hole. And you stick your fingers into the hole and squeeze the cock tips mm. while you're Ooh. while you're fucking the mouth. Okay. That's okay, now that job. that's fucking done. This whole episode is going to be Where about is the this cock picture. tips exactly? I'm sorry. Where are the cock tips coming out of? These two guys yeah. are fighting for so space. Out of the, out so of you can put your fingers into the into the so hole the and bullseye, squeeze your cock heads. I see. The bullseye actually contains two little cock heads. And these two guys on the edge are trying their hardest, but they're moaning and groaning because they physically just can't mm-hmm. reach I with see. their cocks for the hole. Right. Okay. So Jasper John steps on a stool, picks which mouth he wants at whatever moment, right. and he s- sticks his little fingers in and squeezes a little bit. Of I guess to head. me it doesn't. I don't exactly see a hole. It doesn't matter what you think because <laughs> okay. I did the research and I know exactly what this piece is about. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> So this is him in 1955. 59. 59. Great. And is this one of his big works? It's it's a pretty cool big work. So where is he? Where is this shown? It's shown on a wall in a building. Okay. Presumably a museum or art gallery. Presumably, presumably, <laughs> presumably into an art show. <laughs> Very nice. And he and he was born in Augusta, Georgia. All right. Yeah, give us some background. So Jas- Jasper's born in Augusta. He was born in Augusta, Georgia to an alcoholic ditty. Mm. His ditty was alcoholic <laughs> and he was not fucking with him. Mm-hmm. Interesting. What? How about his mom? Well, his pop-pop was Jasper John Sr. And his, his mom was Jean Riley Johns. Oh, shit. Okay. Sean Riley Johns. It's a cool name. His pop pop was an alcoholic, and when uh, he was one, his mom left his ditty. Uh oh. Um, problem was she didn't have no shkarol. Uh huh. Um, so he spent his childhood between a bunch of different relatives who just tried to raise him in gotcha. periods of time. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So she was broke, um, probably you know a waitress at a rest stop. At a maybe, Waffle House. Maybe a lot lizard. Right. Maybe she was sucking cock. To, she was sucking trucker cock. This is the 40s, I'm guessing. She was sucking and chucking cock in her mouth, trying to get a fucking nickel to feed her son. So <laughs> some right. real, some so real got, deep south bullshit. So he's got a real bullshit, like, poverty, you know, deep south poverty upbringing. He's wearing Absolutely. Shoes. All right, nice. <clears throat> Yep. Okay. Um, so the style, okay, so abstract expressionism, pop art, and something called Neo Dada, which just sounds fucking terrible to me, but. <laughs> yeah. um, Dada is the stuff where they're like, we're fucking random. Yeah. yeah. We're so crazy. that's literally, he was just like, okay, I'll just fuck around. Okay. Hold on, let's see. Let's look at some, some more bullshit here. Um,. Here's some wild, wacky shit. Here's some Dada shit. A flag with an orange background. Mm. Okay, this is fine, I guess. Yeah, it's whatever, truly. I think he was in that era where, like, this shit was really hot. Just this whatever-ass bullshit. I kind of like the orange. It's weird. It's what it Got is. you scuttle. Yeah. Is it the right amount of stars? Eldest, you want to count those for us? Uh, eight times six. No, it's 48. Oh, I guess this is before oh, Hawaii. Is it? Yeah. Maybe it is the right amount. Damn, that's crazy. That was so recent. Um, Yeah. Man, I remember I learned some shit about him and, like, this American flag shit, but I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> so when did he start doing Thanks. art? So what's his first... <laughs> That was fucking insightful That's a as all really good out. addition to the fucking stream, <laughs> Thank you. Like, I, I knew some symbolism at one point of it, but mm-hmm. my cock was... No, before you the powerful, The powerful information coming in was just too much that I couldn't attain. Are you done? The knowledge. <laughs> Don't lie, or the crowd will get mad. 
<laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> um. So wait, wait. So how does he start even doing art? What's his life like? Do we have any more biographical info or no? Well, he was like he spent time living in Georgia and South Carolina. And he said, where I grew up, there was just no artists and no art. It was just some <laughs> bum fuck ass bullshit. And he didn't even fucking get it. He like literally didn't understand what just yeah. being an artist and making art was. Um, so then he got like interested in it when he just got a little older. What, like in school and, or some shit? Yeah, he went to the University of South Carolina. Okay, a Gamecock. Go Cox. A, a little Gamecock. <laughs> um... So that was for a year. Um, and then I guess, you know, once you go to a university, you meet all types of different people. Right. You yeah. learn about stuff. Um, and he immediately, a year after, didn't even finish, just decided to move to New York City. Okay. Damn. So what was he, was he, do we have any stories of him getting head or giving head in college? Not just yet. <laughs> okay, all right. I won't get, I won't get ahead of myself. <laughs> he moved to New York City uh, to go to the Parsons School of Design. Oh, okay. Um, but um, so in the 50s, he ended up going from New York City to Japan because he had to participate in the Korean War. Oh, shit. They oh, got our shit. boy Jasper. So they got young Jasper. They said, hey there, little fella. You're doing good stuff, huh? You moved. You're trying to be cool. Guess what? Time Guess to what? go to Japan. Go fuck, go fuck up some Koreans. Yep. <laughs> go fuck up some Koreans for something you don't even understand, you fucking loser. <laughs> Take this gun and shoot as many <laughs> Asians as you see. Just shoot rat. as many guys that don't look like you. Yeah. And make it snappy. Yup. He's so, a yes, sir. So he returned to America in 1954, and he met this fella named Robert Rauschenberg. Mm. Um, Robert Rauschenberg was also an artist, um, so they had something in common. What uh, another thing they had in common was they both craved cock, and they became boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! So there you go. Nice. Do we have a picture of the happy couple? Of the happy cock thirst cock thirsty couple. So, you know, this guy was living in bumfuck deep south, moves to New York and just starts fucking a fella. Nice. Just I really like living that. his life. Yeah, so yeah. I, I respect he, him and I, I love wonder it. if he was cornholing overseas. So this is Robert Rauschenberg. Okay, that's a cute guy. He's yeah, a cute guy. Enough. Cute couple. Yeah, those boots. Eldest, I bet you wish you had boots like that. I bet you're jealous of this entire outfit, aren't you? Eldis, you believe you could pull this off, don't you? I could pull it off, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Except I don't know if I can find pants like that. That would fit me. <laughs> that's the only that's the only missing piece right now. <laughs> Eldis and none of the the pa one thing is too baggy, one thing is too tight. The the, the fucking turtleneck is too loose, the jacket is too tight. The pants are are covering too much of the boots. <laughs> this, this this is this is the kind of look that like once every 3 or 4 months I'm like, "Ooh, I should try the turtleneck under the yeah. <laughs> Elder's thinking but he's killing the did. game. It's like it's like it's like that Family Guy where Lois and Peter are on drugs and they think they're singing an incredible song, and then you just pull out and they're like, "Bring, bring, bring, bring!" Ah. I'm like, I, I would kill this outfit. Are you kidding me? I would command the room in that. <laughs> oh fuck. Anyway. Nah, you would look stupid as hell in that shit. <laughs> I, I really even wouldn't. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, right. can't, you can't convince me otherwise. I know, and that's what's beautiful, Eldis. That's what's absolutely beautiful about you. I don't love those boots with it, honestly. Mm. They look a little floppy. That's what you would That's what you would change? But that's just me. I got you. What would you wear? What kind uh, of shoes complete this look? Tell us. Well, depends how fat I am. If Let's I'm... say very. Let me stop you right there. Very. <laughs> the sturdiest basketball sneakers I own at the moment. 
<laughs> and I wear it out during the day. If I'm, you know, a little healthier, a little skinnier, mm-hmm. can stay on my feet a little longer. Yeah. This one pair of little suede boots I have, I'd mm, probably. I agree with you. All right. So this is what's his, what was his name again, George? Robert Rauschenberg. Robert Rauschenberg sucking our boy Jasper Johns. <laughs> So he came back from the Korean War, met this guy. They started sucking and fucking and making art together. That's awesome. That's a nice and they partnership. Immerse themselves into the New York art scene. I love it. Um, so let's look at something else. Let's see what else. What else? So he starts popping basically as soon as he gets back, huh? He gets back. He he. Um, some like collector sees his art. He's like, "Hey, this is cool. I want to give you a show." Oh my and God, then, are you fucking kidding me! <laughs> I know, dude. I think this is like one of his real. I mean, I guess if it's things. the fifties, I guess. But come on, the fifties was all about this kind of shit, dude. People like this got like just were like the hottest. Yeah, I guess this blows people's minds because they're like, "Whoa!" It's like stacked on, like even, literally just the act of stacking the pictures on top of each other and making them appear like physical entities giving them shadows like people are like what yeah the fuck? look there was no photoshop we didn't have iphones this shit was cool right know? right 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 yeah. right damn but um it is some fucking some bullshit fucking though it's bullshit. hilarious yeah dude um so yeah i mean whatever right so what else did he, <laughs> he got what else this is bullshit i mean whatever right let's see um, <laughs> two ale, things of beer cans. Ale cans Come by on. Jasper Johns. The sketch that looks pretty cool. I this like that. Better than the fucking flags, I guess. Uh, oh, here we go. Bread. <laughs> <laughs> this man made a fucking emoji <laughs> and sold it for fucking millions. Hey, you made it in the fifties. You're right. Yeah, for real. Um, oh, fuck. Okay. The 50s. Oh, here we go. I'm just reading this. His painting, False Start, is the most expensive painting by a living, living artist. Wow. Do we have a picture of that? <laughs> this, is, this looks like some Willem de Kooning ass bullshit. Oh, my fucking God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the most expensive thing. <laughs> this fucking sucks, dude. Like, it's fine. This is yeah, like some shit that should fine. be in a hotel, like an upscale, a hotel with Edison bulbs lobby. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. Yeah. How much, how much is it worth? Let me just hear that number. Nanya. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Elvis. Hold on, George. Let me put him in the waiting room and then you can tell us. Okay. How much is okay, it so it was it was it was one million dollars at, at the time, and then in two thousand six, it was resold for eighty million. All right, thanks, man. <clears throat> All right, there we go. How much? So was anyway, it? It doesn't um, matter. I'm uh, not even gonna Google it. Honestly, I don't feel like it. <laughs> well, I guess that's so. a bone you got to pick with yourself. <laughs> I feel like if I Google it, it's not gonna be like a quick answer thing. Shut like up, I'm going to have to read something or dig for it a little. I got something you can dig for a little bit. What's that? With that spoon, maybe. This is this is at least a sort of interesting, I guess. Yeah, now, that's cool. This it's is, cooler than anything else. It's cooler than anything we've seen, yeah. What's it called? Coat hanger and spoon? I don't know. Um, this is what Eldest uses. This is what Eldest jams up his ass to nut. <laughs> <laughs> he has the, yeah, he twists the fucking handle and tries to tickle his G spot with the spoon. He, he puts the coat hanger on a doorknob and then walks a couple feet and sticks the spoon up his ass and the natural tension just goes in and out and he loves it. <laughs> no, I don't. He loves this type of stuff. <laughs> no, he's don't. told me numerous times that he's into this kind of shit too. That's fucking weird, Eldis. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, we, what? Ah, uh, did he make? Did he start this shit? Do you know how, like, on Instagram, oh, you'll yeah. see this? It's like, is this a cup or two faces? I mean, this is some shit in a book when you're yeah. a little ass kid. 
There's no way he's the first guy. I bet you they were doing this shit in the 1400s. Yeah, I don't think yeah, so, because yeah, yeah. I think a big thing of his was, like, appropriating. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, I hate that shit. When people That's say, what pop art is, dude. They just, God, like, steal yeah. shit. Sucks. I hate this bullshit. Like Josh Warhol, man. I know. <laughs> Eldest uh, loves Josh. I love Warhol. <laughs> okay. I mean, if this is a poster, it's not. It's not a bad poster that you hire a graphic yeah, I think designer it's like a, to make for three hundred dollars. But this print. is fucking bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> the anniversary, bro. Fuck Jasper Johns. The fiftieth anniversary. <laughs> yeah, what's crazy is like. Sucks. He's like an American living <laughs> artist. He has so many accolades. And people yeah, love this shit. None I guess. Of them, dude. People be Let's loving go this find shit. Find him and slap his ninety-year-old gay ass. <laughs> Point the middle finger at his face. <laughs> he, he made this in two thousand four. Okay, again, this is literally some shit. This f- in, at Marshalls. <laughs> <laughs> this does look like shit. This 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 comes in a fucking thing where the frame is more expensive than the art. <laughs> That's the problem, dude. This motherfucker's type of work inspired all that corporate fucking yeah, twenty dollars. I suppose. Fake reproductives. But I, I completely agree. This, this is not my cup of, of jism at all. Well, Dancers on the Plane is cool. Isn't that a, kind of a famous one? That's kind of cool. It's if like it'll the, fucking load. It's like this. It's yeah. like the same color as the other one. It's cool. This isn't bad, I guess. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cute. It's a stupid you know? name. Yeah, this is fine. What uh, what about go? I was looking at some other ones, George. Go click out. You were, yeah. I was like, well, you were scrolling. Up or down? Down. Uh, down. To the left with that. What's this? The, yeah, that one. Hmm. This looks like a newer one too. Never mind. This well, does so that cool. look like his paintings in the trash or in storage or something? That's interesting. That's good. If it's if it's him putting his own bullshit paintings in the trash. That's symbolism I can stand behind. His um his biggest influence was Marcel Duchamp. Hell yeah. And Marcel made like one really famous painting, and then after he became famous famous, he just kind of trolled and like like he made this that. he made like a piece of art that was called like a fountain, but it was literally just a urinal, like in a yeah. in a museum. He would just do <laughs> shit like that. He's the not, this is this this is not a pipe guy, right? <laughs> Marcel Duchamp, isn't that the guy? Hype? Yeah, that that is him. Yeah. Um, I think he was also Dadaism or whatever the fuck yeah, it's called. Yeah. Here's yeah. his most famous painting ever. <laughs> <laughs> the flag. <laughs> this sucks. Especially this nowadays. Sucks cock. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the next one we see is just a Blue Lives Matter flag. It's, pun- <laughs> it's the Punisher logo with a fuck. It's in acrylic with blue down one stripe. <laughs> Hashtag Blue Lives Matter. Hashtag uh, Alabama artist. Hashtag. Hashtag yeah, vet, Korean War vet. Hashtag Mother oh, of wait, Three. Magritte is the pipe guy, Eldis, you dumb bitch. Magritte? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. What, was Mag- what was his shit? The urinal was like his most famous shit, probably. Um, Let's take a little did, break and look did, up some Marcel Duchamp. He did that one of like the Mona Lisa with a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. He, he was, was a, awesome. Lisa he was a huge good. troll. Yeah, he was a huge troll. He like made painting seriously for a while, and then he just said, "Fuck it." I respect that. Oh yeah, he, he looks kind of cool. Nice. Oh, yeah, is this getting you horny? <laughs> yeah. That reminds me of what I put my face in when I get This is where your prick goes, and then you drink the piss from the bowl. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's so true. That is the reverse to you. plumbing pressure. <laughs> this is called Eldis's piss lapper. <laughs> Circa 2020. <laughs> uh-huh. So that's um, Marcel. Here he is. Oh hell yeah, respect. If this if he got money for that, then I respect him. Maybe we should do a whole episode on this guy. 
We literally should. He's awesome. Yeah, I was thinking about just doing him, but then I was like, Jasper Johns is like American. He was alive. He's alive, so I was like, maybe. But right, I mean, we'll, we'll look at he started later. out making actual art, and then he I would actually, kinda, yeah, fuck it. Let's do him later. And then he kind of said, "Fuck it, let me just shake the game up and be a bad um, little fella, be a little fucking whore." Um, let's see. Okay, what let's else? see. Let's keep trashing Jasper Johns, bitch ass. <laughs> he just loved flags. Here's one. Someone said a lot of this stuff is just pure contempt for the museum as an institution. Who, Jasper, Jasper or Marcel? I mean, I think probably like both of them. So he even stole having contempt from a better artist. <laughs> Fuck Jasper Johns. And his, and his fucking... What is this? Another flag? Wow. That's yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Another flag. Here's a quote from a gallery owner. This is how you know that like everyone that just has power in art is just a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. In 1958, gallery owner Leo Castelli discovered Johns while visiting Rauschenberg's studio. He said, I was confronted with that miraculous array of unprecedented images, flags, red, white, and blue, all white, large ones, Shut small ones, up. targets, numbers, alphabets, just an incredible sight. It's no, like, it what? Wasn't. The man just painted flags. Who gives a fuck? So this asshole gave him his big break and then, you know, he kept sucking men off and Obama fucking put a medal around his neck. <laughs> Fuck Obama. <laughs> Obama honestly, was like... honestly, Obama, it's a tie between uh, bombing, using <laughs> drone bombs for for bombing weddings in the Middle East and giving Jasper Johns a, a freedom a medal of honor. Those are two equally heinous things Obama did, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> he probably just gave him a medal for being a gay man from the Deep South. Yeah. That's that's bizarre. way more impressive than any of this fucking bullshit. <laughs> Painting with two balls? What's that? That looked okay. Where? Up. That's, that's cool. sort of interesting. That's cool. That's kind of cool. I it's kind of whack that it has the like words on it. Painting yeah. with two nuts. That is kind of gay, honestly. Whack. Uh, maybe it's a woman's pussy that you're opening up with your balls. <laughs> that's true. That could yeah, those true. those look like Elvis's nuts. <laughs> those are the El that's Elvis's nuts compared to the size of a regular pussy. That's how <laughs> little Elvis's balls are. No, <laughs> and his cock is to scale with his nuts. <laughs> no, that's actually that's my why Elvis has to fold both. Elvis, when he puts a condom on, folds his nuts <laughs> and his dick in one condom and puts no. it in and puts it in a uh, pussy like this sideways. That's my. That's actually my nuts, and those are two. Full size airplane wings stacked up on no, top of each other. They are. No. And my uh, nuts are so powerful no. that they can rend them open, even no. despite the weight. No. Quiet. That would crush most men's nuts. Quiet. Next. Remember that painting, False Start? Yeah. Well, David Geffen was the one who bought it. Oh, really? <laughs> what a yeah. fucking loser. Did he also rape people? Isn't he a rapist? Yeah, probably. I mean, so you do the math. <laughs> right, you do the math. So you do the fucking math. Hey, you do the calculus on that. <laughs> Let's see. The critic sees. Hmm. Honestly, that first glory hole target was maybe the best thing he's ever made. Here, let's go up. There's two of them. Where, I think. where are the targets? The targets are like his most famous shit. Hmm. Never mind. That's another one. I That's take not it the back. one we saw. I take it back now that I see what do you color. What do you guys see when you look at this? I see up top. My, oh, George. Just, I think there's a dick, so take this off. Is there? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say I see my dick, and then it, I saw an actual <laughs> cock. <laughs> Um, wow, if you visualize it and it came true. Oh, here's like the same one. Yeah. Now this is sexy, like I said. <laughs> oh, there's not even a hole. It looked like in the picture there was a hole in this. <laughs> no, it's See, a bullseye. See, that's what I was trying to tell you, dude. 
You were not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, so Jasper John sucks cock. I think we can all say that. <laughs> I think he might even be. I mean, it's tough to say if he's worse than the other gay guy. No, the dude. Gay guy. The, I think no. the goth gay guy's better than him. Actually. He's better, dude. He's much better. I think he's much better than Jasper. What yeah, was his name? Is. Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon had two, one or two that really did go off. I'll give him. Francis that. had a couple that went off, dude. This is actually pretty. This is actually kind of cool. I actually yeah. like this one. This ain't bad. See, the I, thing is, like, he can actually paint. You can tell the way this arm right, is in the right. shadows. But he decides to just paint like an asshole. You know? Yeah, this one is sort of. I actually do fuck with this one actually a lot. Um, I yeah, like how cool. he's just like fucking. Yeah, it does, and it does almost seem, seem like commentary on his own work. Right. I yeah. Fuck with this. This is good. That 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 is like an interesting element of it. Um, I think this is a pretty interesting element of this whole thing. Really, George? that is true. Yeah. I just said this, that. Elvis, what else? What else do you I agree think with about you, this? George. Go back to the other pictures. You know what I will say. An what? artist work like this is interesting. When like, hold on, go up. No. Go back. Go up. Do flag above white. When you see a bunch of like flag paintings that are just different versions of the flag, that is like kind of interesting to me. Oh, this has little stamps of. Someone fucking on Yeah, there. I'm going to say no, it's not. And you're stupid <laughs> if you think it is. Who fucking cares about all the fucking bitch-ass flags? I don't give a fuck at all. So Jasper's still alive. I like this one. So yeah, Jasper's still alive, you know. What'd you think of that? God bless him. What'd you do? Did you hear it? I farted. He, sh- he shitted it. I didn't hear you, bitch. Wow. Nice try. Anyway, you're you're uh, that's a bad opinion. These paintings suck dick and uh, moving on. <laughs> He's not my favorite. I Rauschenberg is like more interesting than this and kind of similar. Oh yeah. What's yep. that? What's the other one the, the next to the next to which one? This one? No, the, that yeah. one. I mean, that's better than all, some of this shit. This is kind of interesting. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute, yeah. It looks like a fucking what's it called? What's that shit called? A tarot card or some right. shit no. to me? No, <laughs> Something. <laughs> yes, please. Please, I'm horny. <laughs> no. no. So anyway, that was this guy. Do you guys want to do some submissions Let's or do what? Some submissions, yeah. Jasper John sucks. So Jasper John, <laughs> somebody worse than Francis Bacon. <laughs> We didn't like him, but he has crazy accolades. You know, you can't, you know, society Give him his says, flowers. Society says what they say about the guy. We're three tough guys, you know? We don't let things slide like that. Mm-hmm. No, we don't. Not to mention that, you know, I've seen better artists on Instagram. Much better. Oh, yeah. Than this fella. So, uh, yeah. But Jasper, you know, gay southerner, that, um, a war vet. Who sucked off Robert Rauschenberger? Mm-hmm. And That's uh, cool. there, there you go. Respect yep. to our veterans. Respect the vets. That's all I'm going to say about that. Honor the vets, <laughs> dude. I absolutely salute, <laughs> salute to the veterans that were out there, probably g- having gay sex on their naval boat in Japan. <laughs> in fucking Korea. In Korea, wherever respect the vets or take the piss, as the British would say. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. You know, don't take the piss or whatever. Definitely don't take the piss. Don't toss the piss in the wind. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Oh fuck! What? Shit, dude! I forgot to run the program. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> May- oh, you didn't run it? I assumed it was finally fixed. Nope, nope. I assumed it was finally working fine. That's not true, you rat. You boop, know boop, innocent. Boop. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Evelyn, Evelyn Piss Gulper. <laughs> 
that's the one. <laughs> the months we've I'm been doing this, that's yelper. the one right there. <laughs> wow. It was too powerful, it turns out. I guess the program knew. That was too powerful a name to have the whole time. Mrs. Piss Gulper, are you ready for some submissions? <laughs> yes, I am. Let's do it. Yes, I am. <clears throat> oh, shit, okay. For, first one is Kittens Killing Lions. They've shared before, right? Yep, they've shared a couple times. This is cool. Um, Dude, damn. honestly, I'm trying to fuck with Maleficent. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's what did you get my email star? Say with this one. I did. I, I already did it. Cool. So, yeah, we know his style. He um, he has some text in the background, and then he just has a, in the forefront just an image. It's, it's cool. This shit rocks. It's yeah, cool. I am trying to get pussy from Maleficent for real. Yeah. Could... She doesn't even have pussy here. You got to get the top. I'd get top. I would get the mouth, no problem. You can't even get in the guts here. You're right. There's no guts to get into, <laughs> which is a problem. I'm, I admit it's not ideal, but I'll. It, I've, I've only gotten top, head yeah. before, and been satisfied. It looks like you could maybe titty fuck here. Maybe it's unclear. Yeah. Maybe the top of your titty. Yeah. yeah. George, what do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say just get the top here. <laughs> just to be safe just grab the okay. horns and get the top plain and prudent not getting too greedy mm -hmm. just grab what if, the horns here's an idea what if she has put maybe she has invisible pussy Ooh. maybe it's not disappeared maybe it's invisible from from what we don't see then excuse that, me then that, and that would, would be, be cool awesome. you could look at your own dick and it, yeah. lo it would look like it's floating but you're actually fucking pussy yeah excuse me inside. that would be awesome I'm just saying it's a possibility. Yeah, it'd be cool to see it, like, just to look down and see, like, how far deep inside you really do get, you know? Mm, I don't think but that would for be me, that for would, you. For me, that would probably be, like, crazy, crazy yeah. far. It would yeah. be like Casper, the Casper movie where the ghosts would try to eat, like, pudding and it would just fall out of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Y'all remember <laughs> that <laughs> shit? <laughs> <laughs> when when I jit when I jit it would be like that one scene where they pour the orange juice on their hand and like their ghost phantasmal shit catches the mm -hmm. what's it called? I don't remember oh. that scene, but no it wouldn't. Next <laughs> Okay, so that was Kittens Killing Lion. Shout out. Shout out to Kittens. Shout Go out. check him out or her. Next know. up we got Sam Z. Okay. Sam dot S Y Y Y. Damn. This is nice. Um so this Someone's says family? On the description says, ladies will crash their 2004 Honda Civic into a 7-Eleven and be like, oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So That is what they'll be like. This is a really good. cute drawing. This is Very good. Cool. I like this girl yeah. boss. Girl boss action. Uh, Technique-wise, I like the weird shadow. It's like, dope, yeah. Um, yeah. The hair looks cool. The shading. Absolutely. What is this marker, or what is this? I can't tell. Uh, it's definitely it yep, watercolor on a sketchbook, I believe. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. really good for watercolor. Some people just like. Oh yeah, some of that chicken. Some be people so can't get enough. This cock. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? Can't get enough of using watercolor, and it's just shit. The same way Elvis fucks, and he thinks he's good at it. You know. <laughs> so true. Man. I am good at it. So oh, true. you are. Yeah. Okay. George, can you say that again? I'll just be fucking bad. No, I don't. Well, I'm sorry. You, you're good. I do it really good. You're right. <laughs> okay. Bu Bubsy, I'm, I'm sure you're in the chat. Does Elvis fuck good? I actually haven't seen Bubsy. I think I saw him in the beginning. Where's Bub? My 3.2 inches meter didn't go off. Jesus. <laughs> Um, so that was Sam dot S Y Y Y. Samzy. Samzy. Oh, Bubsy. Bubsy says yeah, and that he fucked Elvis. Bubs, don't <laughs> oh, good for Bubs, you. Don't Bubs. fuck around. Tell the truth. He says you're good, but that he fucked you. Okay. Oh, so he's good at taking it. He's good at taking cock. No one ever said you're not good at taking cock, Elvis. <laughs> he's good, good at eating cock in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Oh, I'm boy. good. Boy, does his ass have an appetite. His I'm ass eats anyway. cock. 
<laughs> His ass has an insatiable hunger for cock. <laughs> So fucking true. Poor and his ass is incorrigible when it comes yeah. to <laughs> Evelyn yeah, Piscoper I like that. <laughs> loves. Anyway, loves guys, let's keep going. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's continue. <laughs> let's <huh>? keep going. <laughs> that was Samsy. Great work. Next up, we got uh, deep fried pencils. Okay. Pencils is a returner as well, correct? Yep, returner. Yep. <laughs> I like this style a lot. I think she has cool stiff. This is really good. Um, I'm showing my great grandfather. He was a generous, blue-eyed gambling adulterer. I never met him. <laughs> Only heard of him. He has been a looming figure in my family mythology. Oh yeah. I wonder how much of him is real. I wonder what he would have thought of me. I wonder what he would have talked about. <laughs> That's pretty funny. This is cool. <clears throat> because everyone has a guy like that in their family mythology, you know? Oh yeah, for sure. Just Absolutely. a real piece of shit. He's like, hey, can I borrow a hundred bucks? <laughs> yeah, I mean we we can all relate to this shit and uh I do like the putting together like the bits and pieces, almost a collage of what you know about him. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. An this ode is... to her grandfather who had many flaws it seems. Stuff, you remember that Charles Bukowski book I got you a long time ago? That was like a short story with pictures. This yeah. kind of reminds me of that. Uh... No. I wouldn't read that <laughs> bullshit ever. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of that. I have no memory of that. But he yeah. works. I love this guy. He seems cool. And uh, George, why don't you flip over here? Because I think there's some titty. So move to the next one. Oh, okay. Interesting. Damn, Grandpa was getting it in. Oh. Grandpa was fucking. But I do want to say deep fried. I really like it. And. Uh, <laughs> Deep fried pencils that rocked. Thank it you was, for sharing. That was it, was cool. very, it was a very interesting take, and I think we all think about that. I think about that with our grand with Papu Yorgo, the guy, <laughs> yeah. the guy you're named after. My namesake, the god. George. George Liapis. He was a, uh, you know, we don't know much about him, but we do know the man liked himself a pop or two. He did like to have a little, a little whiskey. He before. He liked a little oh. drink here and there, the occasional <laughs> drink. Um, I'm pretty cool. sure it didn't kill him at all or anything. No, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Anywho, what do we got here? This is Austin David Ott. Ottie? Yeah, this is cool. Some Superman, so what, Spider-Man, Venom type shit. Yeah. So what he does is he literally just like, he just takes a comic book and edits it. Like... <laughs> Whatever doesn't look like Superman originally, he just edits and makes it look like whatever. So this is so, Venom Superman. This is like a Superman Venom. So Damn. Huh. Venom Superman would fuck everyone up. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine this motherfucker. That Out eagle's looking crazy. Or sucking Falcon, fucking... whatever the fuck. This is tight. So wait, he, he, does he do Photoshop or is it like hand drawn? I mean, in the face it looks kind of hand drawn. Let's see. This is cool though. I feel like this would have to be Photoshop, right? Maybe a mix of Photoshop yeah, and drawing. Yeah, maybe a mix. That's fuck. me, like, before I fuck. No. Absolutely not. With that big, huge tooth grin. <laughs> and my bulging muscles cross I think, arms. No. I think it's... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I think my it's a muscles revision. that are bulging from my three weeks of yoga that I've been doing. <laughs> Whole yoga. <laughs> I think he just revised it physically. Um, yeah, he said he, he has done Photoshop, but I feel like this one he just really... Yeah, this feels like an actual Superman cover and he just yeah. went over the top of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is tight. This is very cool. Yeah, it is cool. So shout out to that fella. Shout out to Dave, shout out. Austin David Ott. And last we have um, Hey Look Thunder. Hey Look Thunder, that's right. So look at this Ooh, shit. This shit is so dope. I fuck with this Hey Looky. The bottle shit is awesome. Yeah. So I really like how his artwork looks. It's like, I don't know. It's just smooth. Like really yeah. smooth. It's really fucking tight. Some, I mean, you know what it is? It's like right, it's dancing with the line of, there is smooth shit like this that almost looks too, whatever, like almost gets into the genre of like um, 
aren't made specifically for people on mushrooms. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. This shit is just real. This is like, I love, this doesn't get there. This is like distinctive. This is like, and it's trippy, but not like in a way that's like begging you to be like, you know, to do drugs at it. Yeah. It's just well. like, I love the bottle. I love the, um, yeah, I like the, I like that it's black and white. I mean, I like that it's black and white and it still looks so fucking cool so vivid. I love, there's i love yeah. the guy, like, in distress inside the bottle and then the guy outside of it is just chilling looking yeah chill. like what is going on behind him too it's like yeah. what are those guys is that an elf like what the fuck what is even it's this cool. guy oh wow look, look, look in the lower right corner that's like a little group of people yeah that's crazy i think there's a hold on here's a picture of like a pit, pit piece of a close-up Oh wow! So awesome. look at look at the detail, man. Fucking lit. Damn, that's crazy. Really it's cool. Also, like, are the people outside the bottle in the bottle? What the fuck is going on? Is the guy in the bottle? No, I think that's a whole different scene. Yeah. Damn, this is really cool. This is tight. This guy has a pitchfork. They seem to be arguing, beefing. Shouts out to Hey Look Thunder. Hey Look Thunder. So those are the submissions this week. Those are the suck missions, everyone. Those are I guess we can show Josh's. Let's see what Joshy Poo's got. Mm, one second. It's going to look like shit because the resolution is going to be off. But I did a lot of work. That's why. Mm. Um, you know what? I'm going to stop sharing it. Why? It's just going to look like shit. Hold on. I think I know just what you need if you give me one moment. Okay. Yeah. Um, a financial benefactor purchased it off of me a couple, like about a month ago. Mm, I love that. A, um, a friend of mine who's also an art collector. Uh, an art collector? Who might have it on his person. We might be rushing to get it right now. <laughs> uh, I hey, still... guys. Yeah. Hey, George. Yeah. <laughs> Found something. <laughs> Great. There we go. That looks good. That looks really good, Elders. Thank you. Thanks, man. That helped a lot. <laughs> that was really helpful. <laughs> there, so there it is, folks. My friend <laughs> Elf bought it. Go to Zuzzy.com, everyone. We have some well, stuff Look at that sale. definition. Here's Zuzzy.com. Look at this definition right we here. We have prints for <laughs> 70 clams, <laughs> some cheap older stuff, and some newer stuff down here. Whoa, my eyes look like the Hooters eyes. Take a look. <laughs> That's actually tight. Look, you know, take a like look. Zuzzy. Sozzy.com. So thank you. Go yeah, ahead, give go ahead, give Josh a follow as well. If you buy it, you can have yourself one of these right here. <laughs> My friend Elf purchased that from me, and if he could, if he just took the picture off in the background, it would look much clearer. <laughs> but he's a fucking idiot. Sorry, I'd love to. <laughs> I'd really love to, but. So follow me. Give that a follow right there. Go to there. artbyjudgy.com. A lot yeah. of cool shit. You can see everything in much better resolution. And thanks, folks. Mm-hmm. And uh, I will be... I'm on tour in October. I was just in Philadelphia. Thank you to everybody who came out to see me. That was very fun. It was great. And uh, I am going to be... I believe every show in Worcester, Mass. sold out. I'm trying to add a Sunday show, but the venue is being a little difficult about it. Uh, but I was only there Saturday, and I'm doing. I'm even doing a fucking 5 p.m. I'm doing 5, 7, and 9. Uh, so I'm trying to add a Sunday show. Um, but I'm going to be at Royersford, PA on the 16th. I, I don't know where the fuck that is, but it should be nice. And then I'm going to be at Magooby's Joke House in Baltimore, Maryland on Halloween weekend. Uh, who knows? Maybe, you know, maybe George will be there. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, do you meet do you meet Bubsy? I met he Bubsy. Says, he says, "Bro, why did you bully me after your show?" I don't know. Were you being a bitch? 
Wait, Bubsy, Bubsy were you the, what day were you there, Bubsy? Were you the guy on Thursday? Because if so, Bubsy is one of the littlest dick guys I've ever met in my life. He said no, I lied. It was a little <laughs> troll face. <laughs> Damn, Bubsy I wish that, that was you, Bubsy. There was some guy that was trying that was trying to do Christopher Walken. Or no, I'm sorry. Uh, some guy was doing Nick Mullins, uh, Jeff Goldblum to me. And <laughs> I was just like, all right, man, well, I'm going to go. Like he, he steamrolled over 12 fucking, like, um, you know, social cues about me not wanting to be in the conversation until I'd just be like, okay, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk away now. Yeah, literally I had to do that. <laughs> Don't you just love it when fans do an impression of someone else doing an impression? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, Chris Matherly, for saying that. Um, so, yeah, there's I guess there's one table left in Worcester, and they sell it in four packs. So it's each ticket is 25 bucks. so you have to spend 100 clams, so it's like four people you know for distancing reasons. Uh, and they and all the tables are far apart from each other. So um, there's one table left, I guess, and hopefully I can add a Sunday at least. I guess there's some other guy there on Sunday, so I'm trying to do a Sunday matinee. But anyway, even if that doesn't happen, uh, if touring is safe and possible to do, I will be doing it. I'll even be doing. I'll be doing. I mean, Magoobies is indoor. It's just such a big venue that there is plenty of opportunity to distance. It's a 350 seater, and we're only doing 100 people max. So, the game is just huge, folks. So, and I'm hoping to do other very large venues with, you know, at third capacity or something over, over the winter. So, anyway, folks, um, I uh, uh, thank you for listening. We will be back Tuesday. I think we're moving to Tuesdays. Um, so, we'll Tuesdays our night. We haven't set a time yet, uh, but it'll be around the six to seven range. You know. Yep. Yeah. And. Uh, um. We'll, and you know, register to vote and pray for Trump. And, <laughs> and you guys have a safe one, all right? <laughs> Goodbye, folks. Bye, guys.